how to make a sticky header in wordpress hi guys welcome back today i am going to be showing you how you can make sticky header in wordpress so let's get started what you have to do is simply go ahead and open your wordpress dashboard this is the website that i want to create a sticky header for sticky header simply means that we will create a header that will stick throughout the website and whenever we will move to a next page the header will remain still so to create such a header simply go to your dashboard and scroll down when you will scroll down you will find the option of plugins go to add new we will add a plugin that will allow us to create a sticky header for our wordpress website in add plugins what you have to do is search for a plugin known as my sticky menu so this is the plugin that you will get floating notification bar sticky menu on scroll and sticky header for any theme so this is a pretty good plugin that works for every theme you can see right here it has more than 100,000 plus active installation and it is compatible with my wordpress version so simply click on install now it will take few seconds to install and then i will click on activate once you activate the plugin this is where what you will this is what you will get so now what i have to do is simply sign up with my email address or you can do it later as well and simply go to your wordpress plugin so this is our sticky header you know settings that we can do so in here i will create my sticky header and i will be able to you know stick it to my wordpress website so let's start our first we have a welcome bar so if you want to go with a welcome bar you can simply go ahead and change the settings for a welcome bar so this is the preview this is how it will look on our website after the sign up this is the dashboard for your plugin so now i can go ahead and add a new welcome bar or i can go for a sticky menu so what i can do is simply go ahead and configure to enable a sticky menu that's what we want to do so this is where i will do settings for my sticky header so the first thing is sticky index now i can simply go ahead and change the index right here like a slide or fade so if you want your header to you know fade um or slide you can select any of these i'm gonna go with fade because fade allows you to check out the page as well then we have disable at small screen sizes so this is good if somebody is using your website on a mobile phone so you can disable your sticky menu or you can just keep it this way then we have make visible on scroll at home page this is what i want so i'm gonna go ahead and click on sticky background color now this is where i will be able to change the background color for my sticky menu i'm gonna go ahead and give it a very nice color now sticky transition theme select the transition color as well right now it's white so i'm gonna actually take it to gray there you go then we have sticky capacity that means what's the capacity of your header what's the size so you can increase and decrease it accordingly i'm going with 90. after that we have hide on scroll down so if you want to disable sticky menu at scroll down then you can go ahead and do that then we have page targeting where i can simply add rule then of course we have css styles where you will add and edit the css style for your page after that you can simply go ahead and disable add for example right now this sticky header will be added to my website and it will be shown on every page all of the pages that are included in my website are shown right here if i want to disable it on any of these pages i will simply select them i can simply disable it at maybe 404 or archives but for now i'm not going to do that once you're done with all of the settings for your sticky header what you have to do is simply click on save if you want to go ahead and reset you can do that as well or you can simply save and view and go back to your dashboard this way you will be able to create your own sticky header that will stick on your wordpress website to avail more features you can actually go for a pro plan on my sticky menu let me actually show you what are the different features that we get on my sticky menu and how it works so my sticky menu allows you to go ahead and add a very good looking header to your website 
and it sticks like this. And then you will be able to improve user experience by letting your visitors access the navigation menu and navigate to pages. You can also make your website look more modern with a sticky menu. Then you can increase the number of page views and visitors time on your website. You can create your own floating welcome bar and you can let your visitors know about your latest details. These kind of things help you increase the productivity of your website and make your website look more aesthetically pleasing. You can also add the navigation to your menu right here. That will allow the users to navigate to your website anytime they want to. And they will be able to go to any page they like. You can not only create sticky header with my sticky menu, you can also create a welcome bar. Simply go ahead and buy the pro for more features and then you will be able to access a lot more features and tools with my sticky menu. You will find the plugin right here and you have your own dashboard. Then we have create a new welcome bar, sticky menu settings, recommended plugins, and sticky menu settings. These are the things that we checked out. Once you have done all of the settings, you will click on save. Another way to activate your My Sticky menu is going to be simply going to pages and then you will simply open the page and go to editing. And then you will be able to add a sticky header on the page as well. So this is very easy to use. Once you know how to add a sticky header to your website, then your website will become more professional and efficient. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to tell you everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to create a sticky header on wordpress website don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.